Alrighty Pisces, so this is going to be for August 13th through the 20th. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for every soul group. Uh, that's why I do advise that you guys do check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus video if it is a different zodiac sign than Pisces, of course. Um, also, if you would like to book me for personal concerns or anything that you would like a reading on in your personal life, you definitely can check out all my information below where you can find my pricing, the links to contact me, and also the extended version for this reading also. If you'd like to check that out, it will be posted on my Patreon. It is only $3.33 to sign up, and I do have higher packages if you're interested in that, but the basic membership is only $3.33 to check out my extended versions for the whole month, okay? So we're going to hop straight in with the messages, and yeah. So, Pisces, so what I pulled for you guys, I did pull Jupiter Abundance, um, but it was in reverse here. Um, and then at the bottom of the deck, we do have part of fortune increase, okay? Um, so I feel as if maybe this card was meant to be flipped up right here. Um, it may have just been reversed inside of my deck. But with this Jupiter card, we're actually going to read from the book because I like to do this. We get extra messages. So this is talking about... Um, luck is on your side fortune shines on you you are being given not only a gift but also a lift if not divine help blocks are being removed as you wield influence through your own positivity and goodwill this is certainly an astrolo astrological lucky break but you won't be able to kick back and rest on your laurels instead you will be required to attend to what you set into place and keep the positivity and attention flowing this would symbolize the wheel of fortune but again it was in reverse so it may be impending okay um but this does talk about change in luck of course high ideals sense of purpose and the strength to go on this also does show that you are showing tolerance uh this does have something to do with expansion especially with jupiter some of you guys are using drugs here um, but yes, I am seeing that if it isn't coming in for you yet, it will be, especially with this part of fortune increase at the bottom. So a lot of financial success for you, Pisces. Okay. What I'm seeing for your spiritual message, we do have the awakening card. So you guys are going through some sort of energetic upgrades and you guys are really shifting to a new person inwardly. Um, and you guys are integrating your old ways and the new ways that you are now adapting to to evolve and awaken your different attributes that really are going to help you uh, moving forward. Okay, so awesome. Awesome, Pisces. So let's get into your love messages. So I have some for my singles and my taken. Pisces, we have... For my singles, let your friends help you and release your ex. So you may be dealing with a situation where you may need to ask for some sort of advice uh, from your friends. Or you may have been asking for advice from your friends. And you may be really wanting to release somebody from out of your energy. And you may be like really hanging out with your friends to really get your mind off of that. Or needing to. Um, and also just needing some sort of reassurance with whatever decision you made because you may be kind of like unsure if it was a good decision. Also for my taken Pisces, I do have keep an open mind and heart to heart conversations. So you may be dealing with somebody who may be different than your usual type here um, or you may be different. Keep in mind that these energies can be vice versa um, since, this is, since this is general, excuse me. Um, but I am seeing that you do definitely need to keep some sort of open mind um, regarding the person that may be your soulmate or the person that you may be dealing with. And there also is a need for you guys to have some sort of heart to heart conversation, um, maybe clear up some sort of discrepancies if there is any, especially with this Mercury retrograde energy. Um, you guys may have a difference in opinion here also. Okay. 
So let's get into your actual spread, Pisces. So coming into this week, you guys uh, have the energy of the Page of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Hierophant. So with these cards, I am seeing that you may want to talk to a fire sign here, um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Taurus here. But I am seeing that there is some sort of creative pursuit that you are like ferociously taking action to and trying to build some sort of structure here. Also, I am seeing that you are swiftly cutting somebody out of a commitment. Um, it could be a Leo. But um, coming into this week, you are the page of pentacles in the reverse. So you're not really wanting to offer anything to anybody. You could be overly focused on your finances. What is this page of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, I am seeing that you put a lot of effort into a situation and you may be feeling fulfilled within yourself um, that you're starting to see some sort of payback with it. Um, also, you may have felt like you put a lot of your effort into something and you just feel better by yourself. Um, what I'm seeing in the past, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. So another Wheel of Fortune card, um, some sort of destiny or some sort of change of events happened here. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there was a lot of confusing energy and I feel as if you recognize that it was a lot of illusions surrounding some sort of offers that you were receiving and you turned your back from it and you're just looking for something new to come in you're planning for the future how it's affecting you outwardly you are the justice card so you are making sure that everything is balanced within your life you could be dealing with a libra but um and also a legal case or some sort of contract but i am seeing that you're trying to balance out some energies you put a lot of effort time into a situation and you feel as if maybe what they're offering you is not good enough or that you're not offering something that's good enough okay but the obstacle i do have the two of pentacles in the reverse so somebody dropping this no longer putting the effort um into balancing out the energies um also somebody dropping another option could be an issue but with the ace of pentacles and the eight of swords being here i am seeing that there is issues with getting something off the ground because somebody's still stuck in their head um it could be you uh there could be issues with you getting something out of um i guess the works of your mind because you're overthinking it okay also could be a financial situation but what i'm seeing for some helpful influences i do have the six of wands so you focusing on what's going to bring you that creative spark here um definitely focusing on your success and getting to a place um that's going to work for you going out there and finding something that's going to work for you um and bring you that success here after just feeling a lack of growth financially and growth period okay you can manifest some change um i am seeing some sort of sneaky third party situation that may have taken place what is this nine of cups here for what to do So with the Knight of Cups being here, clarified by the Strength card for what to do, I do see that you need to go out there and get you something that's going to be fulfilling for you emotionally and not being too swept off your feet easily. Um, you need to be able to tame your emotions and also um, be strong moving forward. Yeah, especially with this soulmate connection, um, if you're trying to get into a relationship with the Leo, um, I am seeing some sort of new offer that may come in here. Um, but what I'm seeing for what you need to know, we do have the Queen of Pentacles here. So I am seeing that you will be either reuniting with a Queen of Pentacles, an Earth sign, um, or I am seeing that there will be some sort of success here financially um, that may cause for you to celebrate or be in a happier place uh, after you just had a lot of anxiety and not being sure about some sort of childhood dream or some sort of situation that you've been working on um, for a while that means a lot to you. Um, there may have been a lot of conflict surrounding that. So let's see what's going on. What's going on with my Pisces cross watcher partner person that they're dealing with for August 13th through the 20th? Pisces cross watcher partner person that they're dealing with for August 13th through the 20th, please. Pisces cross watcher partner, a person that they're dealing with. Let us see, let us see what's going on with my Pisces cross watcher partner, a person that they're dealing with for August 
13 through the 20th. So I am seeing some sort of new love offer that this person um, may either be receiving or wanting to extend to you. I am seeing that this person may want to make things right, especially if you guys are in a contract together. Yeah, they may have been confused in the past um, and holding back on either their feelings or putting their all into it, but I am seeing that they're putting whatever happened to them behind them and wanting to push forward here. Um, they may have needed some time to reflect on what they had going on. They may be ready for a commitment, but they may be taking their time here. Um, they may be the self-indulgent type or they're getting back to a place to where they're feeling happy within themselves. What is this nine of cups? Yeah, they could be feeling um, some deep love for you um, or they could be getting to a very emotionally mature place within themselves. Um, but I'm seeing where they may be stuck on you and really needing some clarity. They may be coming back around. Okay, they may be coming back around. So we're going to finish this off on the other side, Pisces. Thank you guys so much for watching um, my video. If it did resonate, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And join me on the other side. I will have a card at the top. And I will also have the information listed below for my Patreon link. And I will see you guys on the other side, Pisces. Thank you guys so much. Bye.